today's lesson is going to involve a slow reset of this light. Now, this is the toner light on this uh, particular unit. Uh, full disclosure, I've already done it on mine after 10 attempts and I finally got it to go through. So uh, this light actually won't go on, but we can still show you how it's done. Now, first things first, you want to open... You'll be pressing the, the green continue button and you're going to be pressing the green continue button. While you're pressing the green continue button, you will want to flip the switch to on. Now try and do this. Actually, you will see me. And you will continue holding that green button or teal button until the arrow light all the way on the left is in a solid orange. There we go. Now you may shut this cover at this time. You want to hit the red X stop button four times. That will light the toner. So now, you want to press and hold this button here until the status light flashes green three times. So now that we've done that, we can now shut off the printer. Now, full disclosure here, another one. Everything's going to look like it's okay at first, but let's wait till after the printer fully initializes before we declare any kind of victory. There we go. Now, this procedure should only be performed after this photoconductor kit has been replaced. And or the toner, whatever the case might be. If you replace the toner and it still blinks, then you will want to replace the photoconductor kit. The E260-X22G is what this particular printer will take. If you uh, just go ahead and do the reset, it will one may not work, or two, you may have a mess in the printer. Just full disclosure. But, there you go. If you uh, follow the steps in this video closely, you should be free of a blinking toner light. There you go.